once you start thinking in terms of speed towards target, towards destination, towards outcome, it changes things a little bit, right? What outcome am I running towards? Is this outcome worth wanting? That's a different question. And you can use rituals as a way that the best version of yourself, another form of safeguard, right? You can use the rituals, the best version of yourself once, you follow them, and it becomes ingrained. I did this with my kids. They they were sort of homeschooled during COVID to the extent that that was even possible. And, and then they went, they switched schools after that, and they started getting homework again. So they hadn't had homework for a while. And I don't know about everybody else's kids, but my kids hate hated the idea of coming home after school and doing homework, right? So it was a battle. And we would do it at a different time every day, right? And, and during this time, right, they paid attention all day in class. They're young. That's hard on them. It's really a struggle. And they have 90 minutes of homework. So they don't go to a school where it's like, here, you know, read this little 10 sentence book and like, that's your homework. It's like, no, they got legit studying homework, tests, exams. And so they come home and it was just, just big power struggle. And I was like, why don't we just create a ritual around this? You come home, you get a, a space. It's about 40 minutes for them to, to come home on the bus. They get a space. They can decompress. They can do their thing. They come home, they shower, and then they come down to the table and they start doing their homework, dining room table. And it took about a month to install this ritual. And every day I would have to like, I wouldn't say force them, but remind them of what they, they wanted to do. And the way that we came up with this is super powerful for adults too. It was like, what would the best version of yourself do? What would it, you, you want A pluses? What would an A plus student do in this situation? Well, they would come home and do this. What would the best version of yourself do? Same thing. Okay, why don't we try that and see how it works? So after a month of doing this consistently every day, and consistency is the key, and I, I want to come back to consistent in a second. I left. So I'm always home for the kids after school, but I wanted to see what would happen if for a few days nobody was there. Yeah. So they came home, they showered. <laughs> They went downstairs and they did their homework. The ritual had taken over where willpower failed. They didn't need discipline. They didn't need willpower. They just followed the ritual. We're biological creatures. This is what we do. We follow the ritual. We follow the culture of the organization. We follow the instinct. The problem is most of us are inconsistent. And consistency is the key to so much in life. It, it's like we're Sisyphus, right? We roll the boulder halfway up the hill and we're like, you know, this is a lot of work. I'm going to come back to this next week. And what we leave and what happens to the boulder, it falls down. You think about like learning a language, Duolingo. I've had hundreds of people I know sign up for Duolingo. <laughs> and man, they're advocates for like two weeks. And then all of a sudden they skip a day. And then all of a sudden they skip another day. And then all of a sudden they're no farther ahead than they were. What happened? Consistency matters. You need to be consistent. You need to do just a little bit every day towards your goals. So, so the way to identify the rituals that, that are super important to you or the ones that are getting in the way, and, and I had this thing, and I, I didn't come up with this. I forget who came up with it. I don't want anybody to think it's me. I don't actually come up with most of these ideas. I get them from other people. Uh, but it's imagine a film crew following you around all day. And they're not documenting your life. They're documenting the life you want to have, the success you want to have. What would they see? What would you not want them to see? And then you start acting like the person who gets that success would act. You know, the person uh, that achieves success, maybe they don't wake up in the morning and check their phone and let other people usurp their day. Maybe they're more conscious about how they spend their time. Maybe they avoid all these things that I'm wasting my time on. And, and the biggest thing that we sort of miss is like we often focus on things outside of our control or, again, going back to the, the gas or water on a situation. When we pour gas on a situation, we have to repair that relationship. And all the time that we spend focusing on things we don't control, uh, fixing relationships because we reacted without reasoning, all that time comes at the expense of velocity which is direction and speed. And it doesn't matter how fast you're going, but if you go inch by inch, even centimeter by centimeter, but you can pound that result day after day, week after week, month after month, you're going to reach your destination. 